Okay folks, we're going to do a transmission calibration on an 8300 today. And I have the uh, directions here on what I use to, uh, to calibrate it. So first of all, you need to put the, uh, the fuse from spare over to diagnostic only. And then go ahead and start it up. You'll see your diagnostics here. Well, that's pretty dark. And then uh, we need to go to we need to go to PCU address 22. And to do that, we need to use our blinker switch. PCU. Then you flash to pass. And you go to 22. Okay, now we're there. Now we need to hit PTO speed and service hours. That tells us our transmission temperature in Celsius. And so I put uh, hydraulics there on constant. And I have a I have a uh, jumper hose back there. We're going to full throttle and warm that oil temperature. It has to be up between 55 degrees and 63 degrees Celsius. And I've already pre-warmed it up, so it shouldn't take long to get the temperature. And then, what I like to do is, I come back here and adjust the flow. So it kind of keeps its own temperature, you don't have to mess with it too much. So it's at 60 now, every now and then I might have to come back here and turn back to, uh, to make sure it's, it's not overheating or underheating. Okay, then the next step is we need to flash the pass here until the right one starts to blink right there. And then we come back here and cycle the four ways. And now it'll tell me to put it in the forward. So I'm going to go to forward. Continue to calibrate itself from there. And then eventually, well, here it's going through the uh, AB clutch back. It'll, it does all this by itself. Eventually, it'll tell you to go to neutral and then to reverse. If uh, oil comes up, that means your oil temperature is at the wrong, wrong temperature. And it'll wait until that gets up to the right temperature again. So right now we're at 55, 59 degrees. Just in range. So again, here is the uh, directions I go by. Now it's in the BC uh, clutch max. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in neutral. Tell me to put it into reverse. So we just put it into reverse and it'll continue to go from there. Um, I should say if there is a clutch pack, you see here we're doing the CR clutch pack now. If there is a clutch pack that will not calibrate and it just simply sits there and tries and tries or else it uh, just won't calibrate at all, then you can push the clutch in and release it and that will bypass that clutch back and move on to the next one. Now that doesn't always work. I'm not sure why. Maybe some of the older tractors it doesn't work on. I've had two transmissions that I couldn't calibrate. One was in an 8100, one in an 8400 and it just simply wouldn't calibrate. And I decided both of them force reverse didn't work in and I just gave up finally. The guys didn't want to spend the money to fix it either. So uh, here it says end. So we are done now. Uh, so go ahead and throttle back, put it to park, and you can shut her off. And that's it. You're done.